<laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much, distinguished. Congrats. Oh, yeah, Can I have this key? I'll return that one. No, the only one. This one. Okay, see, it's because you are still made and made and go. No, it's only one key too. Ah. Okay, can you bring the second one? You have taken it, so now. Ah? You say what? The time you are spending, how? Let us keep faith with this party. Let us work for him. Let us work for the party and keep ourselves united so that at the end of the day, 2023, we will still come together to work and ensure that this party moves to another level. We are, we are ever, whatever we have lost, especially at the national level, through the caucus of River State, we will ensure that the nation remembers that the best place, the only way that we would have Dividends of democracy is actually when we have in, we have brought in PDP to be at the saddle of that leadership at the at Abuja. On behalf of His Excellency, I'll hand over the vehicles and pray that they will be judiciously used. And of course, as Christians, we believe that these vehicles they say one good thing begets another one. That in in less than no time, that good things will keep on flowing your way. The governor had already made his commitment the last meeting you were with him. It's a united family, and we'll continue to work as one. And as your party chairman at home here, I will do everything possible to ensure that the contact between you and the party, there is no gap at all, and we'll continue to forge ahead. Thank you so much. Uh, I think I'll call the distinguished senator George Sekibo, to did he pick his vehicle, respond, and the Senator Piafi and my own Senator, Baron Piggy, 
to hand, take over their vehicles, enter and start the vehicles just to confirm that they are sound, brand new sound vehicles. And then all the national, other national assembly members will pick their own. Distinguish. <laughs> <laughs> Our party chairman, state chairman, the secretary of the government of River State. Uh, chairman, first, on behalf of all of us at the National Assembly, we want to through you pass our gratitude and appreciation to the governor of River State, our own governor. It is actually not expected now, having been engrossed with the COVID-19 problems, and then giving succor to the reverse people, and still have a little savings to afford these vehicles and give to us to go and do our work. We sincerely appreciate him and we thank him. We assure you, all these vehicles will be in Abuja, and they will be effectively used. They will help us in our daily runnings. We will not have problem. And then we know that we will also get the, the fuel money to put inside. We are sure of it. So tell him we thank him. And be rest assured uh, that we, as we are in Abuja, we will be properly represented. All of us in Abuja are ready to take the cause of River State to any level and any height. That one we keep on assuring you we will not fail in that duty because we hold River State a duty to protect her for giving us the opportunity to go to Abuja and on behalf of every person here to serve them. Thank you very much. God bless you. Well, we will continue to say thank you and we will continue to pray for the best of leadership for River State and we will continue to assure our people that we will also put in our best to ensure that not just that River's voice is heard, that we will bring back development to the state because we know that to him who much is given, much is expected. And I can say that we are the fancy of other members in the parliament, those of us from River State. And so we will not let the state down. We will do our best to protect the interests of the state and pray that God will continue to imbue our governor, His Excellency Governor Wike, with wisdom to carry on this assignment that he has given to him. We are very grateful to him. Thank you. Well, we are very grateful. As a woman legislator, Slater, I'm very, very grateful. He did it the last time, and he did, he's doing it now again. And all I have to say is that God should continue to keep him, protect him, and give him the wisdom to continue to um, lead the state the way we should go. And I'm sure that at the end of the day, we're going to be the envy of all the states. Thank you. This has always been the kind of support that His Excellency has given to us. We are a lot more surprised even now, given the fact that some states have even been declared bankrupt, if you read the papers today. And for our states to have gone through the challenges of COVID-19, all the palliatives that have been given to our people, and giving us this level of encouragement to just go do the job that we have been asked to do. We are grateful. And we would want to pledge that rivers first, no matter what, no matter where, no matter the circumstances, no matter the issues, river state first. We will stand for the state. The state has been with us. So from this point onwards, there is no point asking questions. Whatever the state requires, that's exactly what we will do because we are not representing ourselves. We are representing river state on behalf of all of us. We say thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. And we are very, very grateful. They're going to help us because even in the National Assembly, I'm sure what is given, even if they've not even given some of us up till now, is uh, not, not in this class. This is something else. Thank you. Thank you. 
So what else? Your thoughts on this uh, hand gesture from the doctor? Oh, well, uh, you, you heard the party chairman speak there. We are, we are happy that there is uh, synergy between those of us at the state level and those of them at the national level. Uh, and that is what our governor you know, typifies. He's a rallying point, a, a unifying uh, leader who tries to ensure that every segment of the leadership of the state is properly enabled to, to function. The, the members of the National Assembly, of course, they are there to, to speak for us. They are there to fight for our interests. You saw that even before they came, he has had, uh, he held a meeting with them, still part of trying to ensure that he puts before them the vision of the government of the state so that when they go there, they will ably represent the state. So, I mean, as you tell them to try and represent the, the state, to fight to achieve the visions and aspirations of the state, of course, it is natural also that uh, you will give them the necessary environment and facilities that will help them perform to the optimum. So basically, that's what he has done. They are not the only people he has done that to. You are aware he just did that to the judges, not just judges serving in River State. He did that to all judges of reverse extraction. Every judge, whether you are in Federal High Court, you are in FCTI High Court, you are in Court of Appeal, provided you are from River State, he did the same thing for everybody. Of course, for those of us serving here with him, from me, SSG, to Chief of Staff, to every commissioner, every advisor, the same thing was done. So we are all happy, we are all grateful to His Excellency for what he is doing. And I think uh, everybody with this kind gesture naturally should and must redouble their efforts to see that the state is, uh, is moving forward. Of course, he said that to whom much is given, much is expected. You can see that he is giving so much to every arm of government, the executive, this legislature, of course he had given the State House of Assembly before, the judiciary, so every arm of government in this state or, con or from indigents of this state in every arm of government are being provided for. So it is expected that all of us, every arm of government, should work not for him. He has not said that anybody, because he is doing this, it is for him. He is not doing it for himself. He is not doing it for his wife or his children. No. He is doing it for River State. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, carry the umbrella or the flag of River State. Fly the flag of River State, which is providing all this for you through him. That's the sermon he just preached to all of us there. And I think that is the, the intendment of what he is doing. Uh, let's start.